If you've got a Facebook group and you're looking to convert more of those free members in your Facebook group into ambassadors that go and tell everybody about what you're doing and also clients, because let's face it, the point of you growing a group and delivering value is because you want to move them from stranger to friend, friend to ambassador or customer, ideally both. So if that's what you're looking to do, keep watching. One of the ways I recommend that you build long lasting ambassador style relationships with the people that you are integrating into your communities and you're building groups, you're uh, creating brand through building your tribe. And to do that, I think the best way is to really make it a personal experience. So I want to show you one of the things that I do when people request to join the One Drop Movement group so that you can also start implementing this with your new members, especially for people that you don't know, but it also goes for people that you do know because it can be complacent of you to assume that just because you know somebody that's requesting to join your group that you know all about them, I think it's a really good idea for you to still reach out and ask them how you can be of even greater support. So I just want to take you inside the One Drop Movement group. I've got somebody that's requested to join today. Uh, as you can see on the left hand side, it says member requests one new today. If you're on your mobile device, you'll see it usually appears up the top here and there'll be a little shield up there that has a number next to it of the amount of people who have requested to join your group. So in my case, if it was on my mobile, this would say one, a little one next to the shield. But I'm on my laptop as I'm, I'm sharing in this with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on member requests and you can see that I've got this uh, message from Tom who has requested to join the group. Now based on the membership questions that I've asked, I've said to join this global community and take part in all the challenges and everything inside, please pop your email here and I'll send you my free downloadable workbook on the five most important steps you can take to start building your movement. So I get most of the people that request to join the group, give me their email address and it is a proper email address, not a one, two, three Mickey Mouse type email address. Um, but also quite a high percentage of people or they give me their phone number as well. Now, could I automate this and put um, a link in there and say, hey, you know, book a clarity call with me and just do that up front and save myself a bunch of time on personal admin? Yes, I could. Would that detract from the personal experience? Yes, it would. This gives me an opportunity to get their permission. This is permission marketing, permission based marketing and visibility. OK, so. Um, what I'm going to do based on the questions that I've asked and I also find out who it is that got them to join the group uh, in this case who invited you to join the group uh, I want more information about um, being a public speaking authority they haven't said that so maybe they've seen me speaking somewhere or they've seen me show up in a public speaking community or something like that because obviously they're being very specific about public speaking here so the first thing you want to do is copy and paste all of the details that that person has given you and put it either in a note so you've got it separate and you've kept it and you're not going to lose it or ideally put it straight into your CRM, your customer relationship management system. I use Kartra, you might use something else, uh, but I use Kartra so that I can copy and paste all the details out or actually my, my VA, my, my team usually do this. They copy and paste the details out. They put it into Kartra. Uh, as soon as they put that person's information in there and they tag that person for the sequence that has the email that goes out to them, that sends them the freebie that I've said that they're going to get by signing up. So that is all taken care of. So that's all been set up in the back end. If you don't have any of that, don't worry because you can still do it manually for now until you start bringing in income. Say you're just starting out and you haven't got any clients yet and this is a process that you're just going through, um, you know, or maybe you have a few clients but it's not really paying you and you want to start really creating good cash flow for your business. Well, you can use this strategy that I'm showing you to do that, to start building, start building those uh, relationships with friends and turning those friends into to clients what you can do is just copy and paste it into an Excel spreadsheet or something like that for now so that you're at least keeping 
all of the the control over the relationships with those people that are requesting to join your group. Otherwise, Facebook own all those people in your group. Well, what happens if something happens to your Facebook account? You're going to lose it all. So make sure that before you accept them, before you approve, the very first thing you want to do is collect their email. And and if they've put their phone number there, collect all of that out, whatever they've told you about their business or their life uh, and their answers, you copy all of that out. So you've got that separately. And then we're going to carry on with the next thing. I've got a little template which I've set up in my notes file and I've already edited it for uh, for Tom. Uh, and then I thought, oh, I could create a video of showing you how I do it. So, um, so this is the message I'm going to send to Tom. So ultimately, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this message and all I do is change the name of the person at the top there. And if they've left me anything that tells me what they're interested in, I update that there. Uh, but this bit usually always stays the same and unless they put something specific in here I do like to personalize it but I can tell you I get so many people that even if they don't sign up to any of my programs when I reach out to them and say hey I've got a book that I'm promoting or I've um, I've got this program that I'm I'm just about to launch would you please share it with people for me they go share it so even if they've never bought anything from me they've now become an ambassador so before I accept and approve Tom's request because bearing in mind as soon as I press approve all of this information is going to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add friend. So I'm going to send him a friend request. I'm then going to click on the message button and I'm going to copy and paste that message in there. So um, so this is going to go to him. Now, the challenge is because we are not friends yet, unless he accepts my friend request, he's not going to see that message. It's going to go into his other messages box, which hardly anybody sees. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to approve Tom, Tom Covington, so I must remember his name, and then I'm going to write a little post and welcome him to the group. So you see, right in the middle of me sending this message to him, he's actually responded to me. Hi, Sammy, I'll definitely book some time. Thanks for connecting. You can learn a little bit more about me here, which is brilliant, right? So he's already connected with me. I've only just accepted him. I'm now going to put a congratulations in here. I'll put a PS. I just popped you uh, a personal message on Messenger. So I'll see you there too. Yeah, so I'm just putting something really positive here. Okay, I'm just going to go get the image that I've um, <laughs> created to welcome him in. All right, so now we've got a message. We've sent him a message personally. He's already responded. I'm still going to put this in here anyway. I'm going to tag him in and click done. And that's going to welcome Tom to the team. So that's going to create a post. He's now going to get a notification in his Facebook notifications up here saying that Sammy Garrity has just uh, mentioned you in the group. So he's now going to get that. He, if he hadn't seen this already, then he would be seeing it in the group. He'd see it there. And um, the one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the community and let everybody know. Hi, hi, guys and girls, please go into the OneDrop community and introduce yourselves on the post I just put into the group to welcome Tom, who is a new member. This is a great opportunity to connect and collaborate with him. And also to also to remind everyone in the group who you are and what you do. All right, so I'm now going to post that. So now I've welcomed him into the group. I've sent him a personal messages uh, message. I've gone into the rest of the community and asked them to go and comment on the post so that everyone can come and welcome Tom in. So he gets a sense of what it's like to be in the community. And 
usually I would just leave it at that until Tom came back to me. I'd wait a couple of days. I'd maybe send a little, another little message. Hey, Tom, just checking that you've seen my message above. Uh, you know, how can I help you? And I'd maybe do that a couple of times. Also, I would add his email and contact details then to my Kartra system. So because he's mentioned public speaking specifically, I would put that in the note with my Kartra um, CRM contact. Or if he'd said who invited him, I put that in there as well. So I can also see who it is that's, um, that's instigated that relationship. So I collect as much information as I can about that person so that I can continue that journey of turning him from a stranger into an ambassador. I've never met this guy before. I don't know his name. This is an opportunity to have him be a much bigger part of the community. And if I can help him to make some ripples, then maybe he'll go and make some some bigger ripples in my direction when I also need some support as well in return. So really, this is what we're, we're out to do. It's not about the whole making money thing. Um, and as a result of being super helpful and super supportive, you just never know what's going to come of it. And usually a lot more money comes from it because you didn't set out with that intention. So um, just letting you know, that's how I build my community. I strongly encourage you to do the same. Um, you know, at first you'll be doing it yourself. Eventually you'll be giving it to uh, an admin person. But, uh, you know, just things like going back and copying this and then putting it in here so that next time I don't have to do this personally. It's all just in there. All right, so there you go. Good luck growing your community. If you've got any questions, let me know. Mm -hmm.